we were talking about talking to ourselves at 600 words per minute, if you remember. We were talking about handling our own emotions. The word there is affirmations. And the acronym that I coined is prayer. Prayer is P-R-A-Y-E-R-S. Positive repetitive affirmations. Positive repetitive affirmations yielding excellent results. Prayer. I'm connecting it with the priest. Huh? Okay. Positive repetitive affirmations yielding excellent results. So what are these affirmations? <clears throat> I'll give you an example. I went to a company. See, I work with organizations over long periods of time in order to uh, deliver results hmm? with them through training, coaching, and various things. Uh, one company I went to in the US, and this was a company that uh, had a particular department, sales, with high uh, value solutions. So it was less number of salespeople, but big volume in terms of business. 10 salespeople, and they said their sales are down. They wanted my consultancy to increase the sales. So they called me efficiency expert. They called me different things in different places. Huh? So first thing I do is I go study the organization, because every organization is different. Every culture is different. Every situation is different. Market is different. Hmm? You cannot, for example, sell real estate huh? in the same way you sell insurance or in the same way you sell mobile phones uh, or mobile subscription services. You cannot sell it in the same way you sell in retail as you do in your corporate or your uh, uh, for your enterprise or institutional. So it's very different. Hmm? Every business is different. So I studied that company. I found out what the issues were, and I gave them 10 points, each of the 10 salespeople. And out of the 10 points, one was you have to plan and prepare, do your homework, get market intelligence. You should know your own product. You should know the product of the competitors. You should know what the trends are. You should know what the industry size is. You should know what your market share is, what the market share of the competitors are, and what is your goal. Because if you have to increase your market share, you have to take from them. Because the market by itself may be increasing at a certain percentage. So there's a lot of work to be done. You have to be prepared with all your material. You have to meet more clients. Don't waste your time. Because in one day, there are, uh, if you waste one hour per day, that's equivalent in one week to wasting six or seven hours. That's one full day that's gone. You may say, oh, I'm just wasting a little bit of time. But it counts up, adds up. So meet more clients, do more presentations. There's likely to increase. Even if you maintain your ratio of efficiency, you'll get better results. All those things. Ten points. The tenth point was, look at yourself in the mirror every night before you go to sleep and every morning after you wake up and tell yourself in the mirror, I'm the best salesman in the world. I'm the best salesman in the world. I'm the best salesman in the world with enthusiasm ten times. Huh? Ten times tell yourself. Huh? This was part of my list of things which I told them to do. Now, I went away. Huh? What's that again? You are not them. <laughs> I will tell you what you should do for yourself. Okay, very important. You should say, you should say, I'm very good. I deserve my promotion. I just got it. I'm in the head of that. <laughs> because you just got promoted, right? Congratulations on that. Huh? Please give him a very big hand. <laughs> you don't know why, but he knows. Huh? Yes, please. Huh? In the night and in the morning, why? Huh? See, you know, some people get confused. They say, should I do in the night after I go to sleep and morning before I wake up? I said, no, no, listen carefully. Okay. In the night before you go to sleep, in the morning after you wake up. Some people didn't even get that. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> because according to the way psychology works, okay, you have the iceberg theory where 10% is the conscious mind, 90% is the subconscious mind. Subconscious mind is where the action happens and where the results come from. The conscious mind acts as the guard, hmm, which stops things from going directly into the subconscious. Thank God. Otherwise, anything anybody says will go directly inside. It will be difficult. Hmm. So in the night, just before you go to sleep, the conscious mind goes to sleep a little before that. So whatever you say goes deep inside. That's why we say, please don't expose yourself to negative thoughts or anybody shouting or saying something negative in the night before you go to sleep or in the morning when you first wake up. Now, some people say, but I can't help it. I live with that person. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help you either. <laughs> something you have to be practical about. Right? Try to avoid, at least at those times. You know. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. Sorry? Change the person, he says. <laughs> uh, yeah, that will be good effect of training. Huh? <laughs> so these are the 10 points I give them. This was the 10th point. Okay. Now, I give something and I go away. <laughs> it's easy for me to say and go away. They have to do it. 
I come back after two weeks to check. I always like to know what the effect is. So I would love to know from you also if any of the things you take from today and implement. Hmm? If you take one thing, fantastic. If you take two things, great. Five things, wow, from today. Huh? Even few points that you will make a difference in changing. It will make a huge difference. I came back after two weeks and I saw nine of the salespeople, their sales had gone up. The tenth guy, his sales had gone down after my coaching. Okay. <laughs> So <laughs> I went to him and I asked him, his name was Joe. So I asked him, American, huh? So I asked him, I said, Joe, what happened? He says, I don't know. <laughs> I said, did you do these 10 things? Yeah. I said, oh, yeah, yes or no? <laughs> did you do it or no? He said, I did it, I didn't do the 10th point. <laughs> Which one? I'm the best salesman in the world, I'm the best. He said, I didn't do it. I said, Joe, why you didn't do it? So he said, listen. To tell you the truth, I cannot every night, every morning lie to myself 10 times. Okay? <laughs> I know I'm not a good salesman. <laughs> I, I'm the best salesman. What is this? Okay? It's like, you know, when you say a person who is losing his temper, who's angry, he has to say, I'm not angry. I'm calm. I'm calm. He's still angry. You know? <laughs> so he says, how can I say this to myself? So I said, I said, listen, Joe, if you go to a doctor, hmm? And doctor tells you, take these medicines, take these medicines. Will you tell the doctor, no, I'll take this, I won't take that. <laughs> if you are going to a professional, listen to him. If the medicines don't work, change the doctor. Don't listen to me. But if you're listening, listen to everything. Don't use your own brain, because if your own brain is where you are right now, use somebody else's brain to go a little higher. <laughs> Otherwise, don't you change the person. He said, well, if you put it that way, it's okay. I said, do it, just don't, just do it. He said, okay. Two weeks later, I went back, this guy, Joe, his sales was higher than everybody else. I said, Joe, how did you do it? So he got up, he looked at me in the eye, he said, what do you mean, how did I do it? I'm the best salesman in the world. <laughs> Sometimes you tell yourself enough number of times you believe it yourself. <laughs> but one word of caution, please. Affirmations are very good, but not by themselves. Affirmations are good to motivate yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm good, I can do it, I can do it. It's very good. However, Along with that, there needs to be effort and there needs to be some kind of work that is done to actually change your situation. For example, if you didn't do those nine points, you don't actually go out to sell, you don't actually increase your knowledge for selling, you don't be better at your skills, you don't have good product knowledge. Only by telling yourself, I'm the best, I'm the best, it won't work. But you have to do both. So in life, at all points of time, there are two things. One is the inner world, we have to handle this huh? or this. And then there's the outer world. So handling both, reality. Huh? So both have to be handled simultaneously for it to work. What happens sometimes in some books you read or some places you go, they say only part of the truth. It's not that that's not the truth, but it's part of the truth. Hmm? We have to understand the overall thing for it to work.